Hi everyone, in the last video we have seen how to build a video library view in Microsoft or SharePoint lists. Moreover, I showed you how to add the like and dislike button to the view. By the way, if you want to rewatch this video, click on the upper right corner or on the link that you can find in the description. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can inline editing the view. This means that without opening the item on the list that you want to modify or without going in the quick edit view, you can just moving the mouse over the field that you want to change and then click on it to enable the inline editing mode. You will be able to change immediately the value of a field. This saves time and it's an amazing feature available in Microsoft Lists. Okay, let's get started. Here I have Microsoft Lists in the browser open. Let me show you immediately how it works, the inline edit capability in the Microsoft Lists and SharePoint view and column formattings. If I go over the title here, I have this square and if I click on it, I am able to change immediately the title. So, for example, I can reduce the title to what is then let me add a question mark, return, and here we go. The new title and it is now set. I can do the same with the, the date. So if I go over this field, I can click on it and then I have this calendar. I can change the date, let's say 20. And here we go, now we have a new date. Below we have a description field. I can do the same here again because I enabled the inline edit field. So clicking on it, I can change this text. I can remove some character, for example. I can click outside this area and now it's automatically saved. Without clicking on this item of the list to change all values or without going in edit in grid view, I can just go in this view over every field and change the value. How cool is this? Now I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to share this URL with my colleague. Let me open this other browser instance. Here I am connected as Diego Siciliani. Let me open a new tab and let me paste this URL. So I can jump on the, on the same list, but Diego is only reader on this list. That means that if I go over every field, I don't have the square that shows up in order to change the value of the field. So of course, this is a capability which is security treatment. I am back as Giuliano on the same list. Let's see now how we can turn on this functionality. I have to click on the drop down all documents because I have to format this view. Let me click on it. And now we have the ability to format this view. We have the JSON. This is the way when you want to format view or columns. Now let me show you what to do to turn on the inline edit mode. All you need to do is just to add this property. That's it, all done. So you have to add the inline edit field by specifying which field you want to modify during the inline edit mode. For example, here I added this attribute for this div which is basically the div that display the title. So as we can see here in the text txt content, this txt content display the title. By adding this attribute next to the element type div, by specifying that the inline edit mode we want to change the title, you are able to have this square that highlight the field. And by clicking on this one, you are able to change the value. I made the same for the date. So if I go down, we have here an additional div that display exactly the date. And in fact, I have added here the inline edit field as well. Scrolling again at the bottom, we have the inline edit field for the video description. This is all you need to do to turn on the inline edit mode on specific field. All right, we have seen in this video how to inline edit Microsoft Lists view. If you enjoyed this video, as always, hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.